Here's Katie Razzle. There isn't actually a word for gay or lesbian in our mother languages. The only words that are there are totally derogatory. Asif Qureshi is gay and proud of it. He runs a gay club night in West London. Beautiful. Asif the practicing Muslim transforms into Asifa the drag queen, a real rarity in Britain's South Asian community, where being gay is still a big taboo. Many gay Asians come under intense pressure to have a heterosexual marriage, and many succumb, leaving them forced to lead a double life. Which is perhaps why only a few of the hundred or so men and women in this club were happy for us to film them. All the progress made on gay rights in Britain seems a long way away from here. Men in there are telling me that even though they're gay, they are under huge pressure to marry a woman by their families. One guy told me when he came out to his parents, his brother took him to a strip club to try and cure him. And he said if they knew he was here, they would kill him. And when I looked for Muse, he said, have you heard of Honor Killing? Part of the reason why I was never comfortable being gay or going to gay bars and that sort of thing was because of the fear of what the family will say. But also, I think a lot of it is, is it against my religion? The homophobia in these societies isn't confined to one religion. It's more about cultural attitudes that remain stuck in the past. Rahul is a gay Hindu who's made welcome in this temple. He always knew he was gay, but he agreed to an arranged marriage anyway. Every time I had gay feelings, if I fancied someone on TV or saw a cute guy and thought, oh, he's cute, I would immediately slap my wrist and say, that's wrong. Don't look or turn your head or whatever. And so this phase or this feeling I was getting, it had to go. I thought it will go. Of course it will go. When I get married, it will go. And did it? Of course not. Rahul wants his identity kept private to protect his family and ex-wife. After years of living a lie, he came out to them and got a divorce. And how did they react? I feel that secretly a part of them always knew. I think parents always do know. So the anger wasn't necessarily, oh my God, our son is gay, how can this be? I think the anger was, oh my God, we all knew he was gay, but he finally told his wife. How could he do that? Even today, I think a lot of people think that being gay is like being cursed. This negative attitude from family and wider community has rubbed off on him too. It still is a very shameful thing. I think if you met a hundred gay guys who are, you know, out or out to some people, and if you asked them, do you want to change? There is a magic pill available that will make you straight. I think you'd find more than half would take that pill. I probably would. Do you really? I think so. I'm heading north to meet a woman who's experienced the other side of all this. She was forced to marry her first cousin, and on their wedding night, he told her he was gay. I want to find out what happened next. Salma was just 19 at the time. Did you have any idea that your future husband might be gay? No, but there were whispers amongst the other cousins, you know, that he may be. But they didn't actually say the word gay. Did it put you off? Were you worried? I didn't want to get married anyway. And when did he tell you that he was gay? On the wedding night. What happened? When we were left alone and it was time to go to bed and that, he said, is it all right if I go sleep next door because I'm not into women? Salma's marriage was never consummated and she left after a few months. Do you think his family knew he was gay? Yeah. Because when I did eventually leave, his mom said to me at the door, and I think she was crying, she said, you know, don't worry, he'll come back and I'll get him some treatment. Because there are some people within your community who think that being gay can be cured. Yes, and they probably assume that if there's a woman in his bed, he might change. When she returned to her family, even they tried to persuade her to go back. So when you left the marriage, what did your mum say to you? That I was a bad wife and it was my fault. If I had done everything right, he wouldn't have been gay. Really? She felt that? 
she said as well, it was always the wife's job. You should have touched him, made him have feelings for you. Why did they want you marrying a man that they must have known was gay? To cover it up, they didn't think about me. Sorry, I don't want to get upset. They just thought about themselves. Welcome to Southall. Thank you very much. Minus the hair and makeup, Asif took us back to where he grew up. In this community where marriage is highly prized and very few gays and lesbians are out, there was a time when even he almost gave in to family pressure to marry a woman. I think I just woke up one day and had a vision into the future. And the vision into the future was a very, was a person that I didn't like. You know, it would have been a person that would have had a wife and kids, would have had a, you know, a double life on the side, would have had to be very secretive, would have to lie a lot. And that's not who I am. And I didn't like that person. So I mustered up the courage, all the courage I had, just to say no, and I ended the engagement. Back at the club, I met an Australian who was willing to talk openly about being gay. Family don't really see it as an obstacle to getting on and getting married to a woman, having children and fulfilling all those norms of, um, of Indian culture. So family have said to you, we know you're gay, but yeah. get married anyway? Yeah, yeah it's been, it has been suggested a few times. And what's your response to that? I moved to the other side of the world. <laughs> this song is going out to all you sexy baby dolls. Hit it, baby! The case of Sri and Dewani has put Britain's gay Asians in the spotlight as never before. The Dewani case has had a negative impact on the British gay Asian community and I think what it's highlighted is the fact um, that gay Asians are entering into inauthentic marriages. Now what the gay Asian community needs to do is take responsibility of this, use this um, exposure if you like to really uh, question inauthentic marriages and not enter into them and at the same time the British Asian community needs to recognize that by pressuring their gay children or their gay members into these uh, marriages it will only lead to inauthenticity, bad mental health and the real victims really in these cases are the heterosexual marriage partners. In a country where gay rights are enshrined in law, for many British Asians, so much is still shrouded in secrecy. These men and women will only be free to live their lives in the open if their community accepts them for who they are and understands that a marriage to someone of the opposite sex can never be a cure for being gay. Katie Razzle.